We thank God today is the 7th of October 2016. Yesterday we had this news about, you know, our um, beloved woman of God. Um, just, uh, you know, we give God praise that she's alive because she's a great, you know, blessing to the nations. And she's so simple with the things of God. She's preaching purely the word of God. She's not greedy like other so-called pastors in the fivefold ministry or so-called, you know, um, apostle or prophet or evangelist or pastors and teachers, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Um, you see, people have to be very careful not to insult or offend um, God's chosen vessel of honor. And um, what I can say is this, before people can send uh, messages like these, uh, which is very shaking to the world, they should really write a, um, a short, you know, a message to say, um, to say that I am not sure, people of God, please find out if this is true. Then sending it in internet, you know, um, good fashion of the internet, the real internet, with her picture on, because it this things is bad because whosoever is wishing, you know, somebody like this to die. That is why the way I spoke yesterday, I am not, you know, wrong to, you know, pray for her the way I did because it is only a wicked, evil person that will wish such a woman of God like this to die. God forbid. We must get our facts or our, you know, um, well, facts right because it's only liars and wicked people that will be making story up. You see, as I've been saying, even the YouTube that you work on for us, you know, I said, you know, it's not everyone on Twitter or Facebook or WhatsApp a real people of God. Most of them are agents of Satan. They are fighting the, 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 the gospel, the people that preaches the gospel. Hallelujah. It is about time we're very, very careful of what we say, of what we do, even offending one another. The Bible says, woe unto the person that the offense will come, you know, from. Hallelujah. We have to be very careful and study the book of Luke 17 hallelujah to God be all the glory and the Bible itself or the Word of God is very very good to read and to study and to know what the Spirit of God is saying to us in his words hallelujah because we know the God and his word uh, one by right you know the people who are rooted and grounded in the things of god which is this holy bible hallelujah you see that is why god wants us to be using the book bible not all this you know um tablet or ipad because the ipad and you know um the tablets they have and the phones they have all this you know nudes and all these pictures horrible pictures and so on and it's polluting, you know, the things of God should not be polluted. You know, ah, hallelujah, to God be all the glory. All these nasty pictures and so on and so forth is, you know, uh, you know, with the same, you know, um, word of God in the the, the iPad and the, the, the I call it the, the tablet and all this cell phone and so on and so forth. We have to treat God's, you know, um, words which, you know, pure holiness and oh hallelujah respect reverence him and also oh honor the word of god they're all one you know hallelujah the reverence and honor respect by the grace of god whether one level is higher than the other they all mean the same thing hallelujah they're all under the same category of honor reverence and respect hallelujah to god be all the glory 
we thank God that, you know, um, our dear beloved woman of God, Pastor Jeremiah, you know, Jeremiah, huh? well, maybe she need to read the book of um, Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Hallelujah. Well, all of us, I believe this is for, um, you know, Pastor Joyce Mayer, by the grace of God. Um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 said, the art of man is deceitful and desperately wicked above all who can know it the who can know it is a question it's only god that will know the heart of men hallelujah to god be all the glory oh father we thank you for oh pastor you know joyce may you know joyce may father lord god or oh, whether she call you know well the college ordinary joyce may or whatever it's because she is very humble but she's in the fivefold ministry she's you know a pastor indeed look at the congregation that she is really ministering to and the teaching and so on and the teaching you know as a teacher she is in the fivefold ministry father we give god praise for this woman of god she is great because greater is he that is in her that he, than he that is in the world hallelujah greater spirit of the almighty god is in her so she's great in you lord we give god praise for her life the sweet spirit her husband protect and guide and be with them father lord god we cover them with the precious blood of jesus with my faith joined together with my husband and the rest of the people who love her by the grace of god's power we're happy to see her you know live on you know this you know how you know clip of you know the video clip and she's actually talking even it's a silly rumors that you know went on you know this is we you know just pure wicked you know hearts of people you know I mean, even if, if even they, if they, if they're not wicked, even if somebody sent it to them, they must make sure that, you know, is this true? Because that's what I did. I told my husband and my husband said, you know, darling, make sure that it's true. Put the news, you know, on. And I said, you know, sometimes because it's spiritual, it may not be on ordinary news. You know, normally you will get these things on, you know, the sky, you know, Christian channels and so on and so forth to do with the things of God. Hallelujah. That's what I was trying to explain to him. And he said, I should still make sure. And then I said, OK, I I'm going to write, you know, to ask people, is this true? and that's what exactly i did and when i said a big you know people like this can die where do we stand i meant you know great people of god like this big people general you know um god's general people like this if they you know god take them you know this way and because i've had few more you know me, you know mighty men of god you know has died so where do we stand us the young ones that are just rising up where do we stand this is what i am so concerned Concern. And also as a sickly person, you know, I am, well, I am not sickly person by faith. That is why I'm worried and concerned. And what I did is not wrong. I'm right because I'm a human being with, you know, heart. I'm not an iron. So therefore, I don't see why people should oppose me praying for, you know, Joyce, you know, Joyce, you know, you know, to say that those who are wishing her to die, let them die in her place. Because the Bible says Mod Mod about Mordecai in the book of Esther, obviously, you know, Amen died in the place of Mordecai. And the type of ministry that I'm coming from, Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministries, this is the type of prayers that we're used to. So the Bible says what you learned, hallelujah you must teach according to the book of timothy hallelujah we have to be very careful the way we're addressing you know great servant of god you know hallelujah i don't know any bad spirit in the life of you know joyce mayer oh no purely the word of god and she's even crying for people to love god you know, for people not to be discouraged, even though discouragement comes, they should still hold on to the word of God. And all her experience, she's talking about it because God dealt with her before she was actually transformed to speak like the way she was speaking on television to many thousands, millions of people all over the world. Hallelujah. 
we have to respect her for that you know she's very open and she's using the experience to you know to deliver other people to bring joy and peace in the heart to transform them for the best for the almighty god preparing the heart with the word of god for heaven mm-hmm. oh glory to god i give god praise for everything you know god is awesome is powerful god is great there is no one you know, that can compare themselves to God. No, 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 God forbid. I will send you along, you know, um, I will send along, you know, this message with um, something that uh, a Jamaican brother sent about hell, that God took him, well, well, God is Jesus, obviously. Jesus took him to experience so that he can bring the news on this earth. You know, lo and behold, somebody else sent me something in a group concerning seeing a big image of a man, whether it's Jesus or Father Abraham or whatever, but it cannot be Father Abraham. Hallelujah. You know, very um, spiritual look, you know, the image on the cloud. Just as I have sent, uh, a, you know, horse on the, you know, cloud with, you know, people on it, you know, that somebody sent to me and I even, you know, spoke about it, you know, um, according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I think it's two days or three days ago. Hallelujah to God be all the glory. It is a confirmation when I even talk, talked about um, how I saw Jesus Christ on the cloud years 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 ago i think it was before i was born again and i was born again 1991 you know it might be roughly 1998 and so on and so forth but um the main important thing is i believe i was born before i was you know um was not a born again or a born again but whatever it is that's not relevant for now but i was born you know born again in 1991 in may i believe you know um as far as i can remember oh hallelujah it's only the right date that i did not write down if i knew i would have you know actually you know done so or written it down but now i can see the significance of writing dates and years down of ex- when it comes to experiencing testimonies to god be all the glory god is great god is wonderful in jesus mighty name i have declared with thanksgiving you know when people are not standing for the truth and they making up stories wishing people you know evil is a form of backsliding they have to repent and turn to the almighty god when people are using the bible the holy bible words against people when they especially when they know that this person is a true person of god but yet they're using the holy bible against them to embarrass them or for people to look down on their calling and giftings it is a form of backsliding we have to be very careful when some Somebody is, you know, fighting with each other in the body of Christ and even exposing exposing them on, you know, um, public, you know, um, like a group of, you know, um, people that people will know and, you know, from outside, especially when the opposite, you know, faith or Mm -hmm. opposite, you know, believers are seeing something like this or hearing something like this and they will want to be laughing at us. But we, we cannot be laughed at because I remember when God said to me, you know, he told a servant, Pastor Rosemary, you know, when I was first ordained as an evangelist, God told her to tell me when she was told talking to me over the phone those days there was no uh, mobile you know it was just a house phone and she said to me the you know God's name will not be ridiculed in my life and I hold on to that word I remember it and now and then God is remember you know reminding me I meant to put it this way that God's name will not be ridiculed in my life we have to be very careful because many people are backsliding these days without knowing this hallelujah this unity in the body of christ is a form of backsliding hallelujah when somebody is jealous of somebody 
and they don't want to see them progress in the things of God. This is a form of backsliding. Hallelujah. This are all are the cause of backsliding. Hallelujah. They all form of backsliding, you know, and it's a journey to backsliding. One have to be very careful. And no backsliders can make it for heaven. Hallelujah. Please let us be reading the book of Matthew chapter 7 to 23 and you know the end you know we give god praise and also read the book of you know john chapter 15 to the end and john you know hallelujah i meant to put it this way luke 17 1 to the end hallelujah to god be the glory you know the body of christ these days we must respect each other before all the people like the unbelievers you know, you know, they will respect us when they see that we respect each other. Love is not rude. According to first, you know, Corinthians chapter oh, 13. If you read from one to five and onwards, you will see. And the, 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 the last verse that talks about faith and hope and charity, the greatest of all is love, charity. These days, people are lack of the love of God. And people might be saying that, you know, when they're born again, they love God. No, yes, you know, people should be loving God, but it's a struggle for many people are struggling to love God. They're struggling because the reason why they're struggling to love God, they can't say they love God and hate the fellow, you know, um, brethren that they, they can see. When they cannot see God, they said they love God. It's a lie. Read the book of First, you know, John chapter 4, verse 20. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. We give God praise and honor and adoration. Jesus is coming very soon. Let us prepare our hearts. Let us be good to each other. Be kind and help each other. Hallelujah. Let us want all, always want to see people climbing up, not down. Not remaining down, but, you know, remain up. The mountain top, you know, hallelujah. Promotion, increase. You know, if we don't have that heart, one cannot make it for heaven. God forbid. A form of backslider or backsliding spirit, you know, is bad. You know, no backsliders can make it for heaven. I remember one day a man of God was talking, a preacher, an elderly man was talking on the on the the television concerning, uh, you know, somebody, you know, he said a woman of God said, you know, um, she doesn't love, she doesn't have love. You know, it's not impossible. It happens. Not everybody that preaching the gospel have love. Because if they don't love, you know, people, how can, you know, they don't want to see people excel in life. It's not good. They can't be a, a true woman of God and hate people, you know. So God be all the glory. Today is this 7th of October, 2016. My name is Evangelist Sarah. Our number is 0786904146. Email address is alpha.12 at uk. You know, to God be all the glory. God bless you. Bye-bye.